did you see the size of that? <laughs> that was massive. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna split out for a two night camp. I've got my DPM, not DPM, Desert Camo Dutch Army Canvas Tent, uh, my fishing kit, some light snacks, quite minimalistic on the food actually, considering we're doing two nights. But yeah, it's gonna be solo, nice, relax, and chill. Probably find a mission or two to keep us busy, see how it goes. Expecting rain tomorrow, so. Yeah, I've got my Dutch Army canvas tent. You all know they leak at the zips, so I also have a, a tarpaulin to go over the top of it just in case the rain gets extreme. Which, given this is Cumbria, probably will. But don't worry, I've got uh, I've got salmon, I've got cod, I've got gammon steaks. I think I've got a ribeye steak. I'm not sure if I packed that or not. Lots of nice kayaks, so plenty to keep us going. Would be nice to catch a fish and do a catch and cook, but uh, we'll see how that goes when it comes. These banks have been flooded recently. Probably new wash up wood. a lot higher than it usually is but that's all the rain we've had in the past like four days it's good fun I think it's uh, feeling lucky this week feeling lucky this uh, this is where I camped last time that fire pit's actually in the water now and that that's the tree that I was getting firewood from when I was working the river and the tree that almost crushed my head is washed away. It's gone. So I'm still heading up to the, my fishing area where I can wild camp on my riverbank. This is a nice spot. Happy with this. The old fire pit's still there too. So that's a rucksack I've carried out here. Got my tripod set up over there. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to bear with the wind on and off. I'll protect you from it as much as I can. Food bag, tripod bag. Back to the DPM one because the camo one burst. And this isn't, the one that burst was Pro Forces. This one's uh, the original Highlander, and this original one is like eight, nine years old. There's the dirty bird. And uh, so yeah, I've got my fishing kit on there and everything. Just basically took the straps off another Highlander I had, put them on this, and uh, it's good to go. So I've just kind of put that other one away for a little bit till I can be bothered to fix it get it fixed a little bird just flew by so my food bag as you can see it's quite not stocked with food but it's got this tent in it, which is my Dutch Army two man canvas tent. They say two man, but I say one in kit, so that's that. And then there's a little bit of food in there. Tents up, as you've just seen in the time lapse video. <laughs> Fell down a couple of times in the process, but uh, getting there, I need a couple of heavier anchor stones for this 
I think this side apart from that it's good the wind doesn't seem to be hitting us too hard there either like in that tent area there's a cricket <laughs> cricket in my uh, tent already So I've started to get all my stuff in there now and break out the kit. I've got my bag, my sleeping bag, my roll mat, my rucksack as a pillow. Still got a lot of kit in it. Fire gloves and my power bag. Food bags empty down the bottom there. And uh, my sleeping bag. And I've got my bivy bag, British Army of course. And uh, my wool blanket. And that's in case it gets really, really wet. I've got a tarp and bungee cords to put a another makeshift shelter over this one just because this tent leaks at the zips <laughs> but it's so warm and just carry a little skinny tarp you know what I mean it's still a, still a good tent I'm gonna look for some worms if I can't get some fish what, what, like, never in all my days, I would never think I'd find like some sort of like grub. Look at that grub, I've got one worm and three grubs, or whatever they are. Grub, I'm gonna call them grubs, we're gonna call them the sand grubs. But, anyways, I'm gonna, or caterpillars, something like that. I'm gonna try that for a bit. I'm gonna do one line with the worm and one line with the grub, see if that happens. At least it's not like totally bombarded with wind, eh? I'm gonna put the grub on the big line, on the big rod, and then the worm on the smaller rod. Oh, it doesn't like that. So I've got one line in there, going over there, and then that line there, going over there. I'm going to do some work on my fire pit now. sun's actually come out. It's still very cloudy. I think it's just parted in the clouds. The sun, the sun shine through for a second. So I've just been out collecting firewood and chopping it up and getting my fire going there. Look, it's my start. I found a load of old ivy there that's been trashed up and dried out. So I'm going to use that. Fire's lit. Didn't take much. Just a bit of birch bark and cotton wool. Still no fish. Fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Got my landing rod prepared just in case. I think I'm going to get a brew on.
ocean, it's so exciting. If I've had no luck by late tomorrow afternoon, I think I may pack up and move to a different spot, depending if the weather pins me down or not. Chocolate brownie. Oh, my God. So what I've decided to do is a little bit of, uh, instead of every time I use my fire kit, it's always taken out, taken out, taken out, and very little putting in. So I've decided that from now on, every time I take some out, I'm gonna put a little something in. And I found this really, really nice Season wood. These little bits here, could feather them and put them in my fire kit. So yeah, that's what I'm going to add after using the birch bark today. That's well, well hard bit of wood that. Could do with some to do with the fact that this log's not really this log's kind of absorbing the shock a bit. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice bit. Trying to get the heartwood too, just because it's always the nicest. It's not quite therapeutic about chopping wood, actually. I find anyway. A bit mad. Oof, look at that bit.
finally some decent lobes. Wind's picking up at the point of the bit I'm on. Skies look really, really uh, rainy like Tim. I just found pheasant feather. That's that seasoned wood there. I'm gonna add it to my fire kit and I'm just gonna like thing it up like that as I go. Because it'll not take much burning like. Does the job, doesn't it? That's it added to the kit. Maybe like two, four, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. And then make my birch bark and cotton wool and some resin and my fire steel that Tim made us. Hey. So I've just been collecting all these worms. Finally some decent ones. Man, you missed that pheasant, it just flow right by into that. So while I'm waiting on the fish to get on my hook, I'm gonna cook myself a steak. I've got a nice ribeye there and I've just took all the bark off a little branch, wedged it in with that stone. Just hold it over there and I'll turn it in a few minutes. I've got a nice roll in there, the bottom of my food bag to have with it. Well, I've got a pack of like eight rolls. <laughs> so. That's my steak done. A roll and a munch down. Squash my finger. Oh, oh splattered me. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, fishy, fishy, fishy.
that. Look at that. Awesome. Should have brought my fish knife with us. So I've done this well away from camp so that one I don't disturb the water so there's a chance I could catch another one for tomorrow and two so yeah so I don't get my camp all fishy so that's my fish all gutted all nice and clean ready to go on the fire Chuffed a bit. This is fine, I'll just pick through it with my fingers once it's cooked. Very happy person. Very happy. Just look at the meat on it too, there's like loads of it. So just in case anyone was wondering, I have permits for fishing this river, which uh, I've bought for yearly seasonal, so well, it does me for a year through all the seasons. So yeah, that's grand. And looking forward to the fish I finally caught. I'm gonna eat the hell out of it. And yeah, you've seen it wriggling a little. I watched the video back and you've seen it wriggling a little bit when I gutted it. But again, that wasn't the fish being alive. That's just the reflexes of it once you kill it. So sometimes has it just like especially when you start gutting it out and running your finger along the spinal cord, sometimes you get a flop from the tail. But it's just one of those things. Doesn't mean I just like gutted it alive, because I wouldn't do that. I'm so happy, I just want to sit there and stare at it for a while. And there we have it. Oh yes, free food. Mm. Everything I thought it was gonna be. Mm. That's all that's left of my fish, it's just spinal cord. Awesome. That was good fish. Good fish.
Looks really grey, doesn't it? There's loads of birds flying really low. Definitely not bats. Like sand martins or something like that. I'm just totally chilling out. Getting dark now. It's like 10 p.m. at night. Got the fire nice and hot ash in the bottom, plenty of it. Still got both lines in. It's me and my sleeping bag in my tent. Pretty much a metre away from my fire. Catch y'all in the morning. Morning. I was dreaming about my fishy. It was a good catch that. Only took what, three months? <laughs> All right. Fairly uh, snug. Apart from I uh, had a rock in my back at like, well, when I got into bed, so I'm going to put my arm under the ground sheet to pull it out. All good. Got some spits of rain at about 2am, so I nipped out and hoed this tarp over the top of my tent just to give it that protection and then it stopped like 10 minutes later, so yeah, still grand. Made myself a bigger flap for the doorway as you can see, just so that it's uh, if it does get a lot of rain at least, my doorway is not going to get drenched. Just basically weighed the whole thing down with stones. <laughs> right, I'm going to get my fishing kit set back up and cast it back in. See if we can catch an early morning fish. Let's both my lines back in. Firewood time to get me a morning coffee. The wind's picking up a lot too. the first coffee of the morning on. I've just finished brushing my teeth and putting a bit of the old roll on on and uh, also I like eating these in the morning too just because they're uh, it's just a chewing gum but it's nice. <laughs> yeah my little fold up toothbrush, toothpaste. Brilliant. Tesco's pound each. See that tree there? That's the one that, like, uh, the root I pushed up and almost hit me in the head. But that whole tree there, man, it's so dry. I've been eyeing it up for ages. Got a nice chunk of gammon on for breakfast. Do the job for me. Still haven't decided if I'm moving today yet. I'm Still playing with the idea. Get that chunk of gammon. Looking forward to this. It right there, ultimate breakfast gammon. Mm. Oh my god! So I've decided I'm having a dessert with my breakfast. So I've got the old Jaffa cakes out. <laughs> So 
So I've done the river crossing. I'm heading into the woods to check out the moss camp. And I think I'll stay there tonight. So I popped into the moss camp for a little uh, check. As I said, I was going to, and uh, the kiln was collapsed. We put this plastic on it and some sticks and that, but it's held water. It was just a pile of rubble when I got here. So I'm just having a little brew fire on top of it. And uh, yeah, Tim, shame, but we'll build a new one. It was coming to the end of its life anyways. I think we agreed that we were going to build a bigger, better one under a shelter so that the rain will not get to it. Because I noticed some of the bottom bits of uh, yeah, they've just gone back to really soft clay. But then the top bits haven't. So, yeah. But we've been reading a lot about it now. We're going to get some sand from one of the riverbank camps and add that into the clay and see how that works. Right, I'm at the riverbank camp now. I've left the moss camp. So I just popped in, checked out and everything, and it's again exactly how we left it, bar the rain getting to the kiln and it collapsing which uh, is just one of those things so i got to the riverbank camp and again it's exactly as we, as we left it and i've changed the fireplace i'll show you made it a little bit smaller and more manageable put the fire uh, table night next to it too so it's like literally a quarter of the size that it was because it was from like here to here so yeah serves us collecting loads and loads of firewood and i can just get a nice hot ember and it'll do the same job apart from that yeah grand at least uh, fire won't be a shin burner anymore which uh, I'm happy about <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Do the job well. Eh? really prep this wood before I started it. <laughs> That's my tent jammed in there, like a foot away from the fire pit. It's gonna be snug tonight. Just on that door, keep that one closed, that one open. Want some in there anyway. I'm gonna find some firewood. It's like starting to get dark before long. And uh, get my feet off because they're still soaking from the river crossing. So I'm in my tent, sitting in front of my campfire. I've got coffee here and jammy dodgers here. And I'm chilling and I've got two nice bits of fish bit of salmon and a bit of cod to cook 
just gonna wrap it in tin foil once that's burnt down a bit. Some nice logs here too. And I'm just chilling, having a rest. It's my cod and my salmon. Little uh, bed of ashes there prepared. Just gonna wrap them up and chuck them on. And there we have it, my fish feast. Some bread rolls there too. I've just started to eat already. <laughs> oh, very wet. And I didn't cover my tent up. But it's actually not leaked inside anyway. So that's kind of a big bonus. Very wet. I'm gonna get my tent packed up and get off home, I think. It's been an awesome trip. But now I'm going to get wet. <laughs> but we wouldn't have it any other way. So I just stopped under a railway bridge for two minutes for the breather out the rain. Uh, this canvas tent wet. It's on my chest here. What a weight. It's like carrying a food bag in some all the way to camp. I'm going to wait when I get home and I sell a curiosity because I really want to know what it was. It is heavier. It must be at least twice what it normally is. Well, I think I'm going to leave it at that, people. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments and the likes. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. I might show you a clip of wearing my wet tent because it is dragging me to the floor. Six point two kgs.